Okay, we'll start now talking about the effects of mechanical ventilation on our hearts. And before we dive into that, let's review some terms that we studied back in physiology just to refresh our memory. Preload. Preload is the amount of ventricular stretch right before contraction. That means, you know, the more the stretch, when we stretch the ventricle, will lead the more contraction force and the more cardiac output. That means higher preload, more preload leads to higher cardiac output. That brings me to this curve that probably all of you know. It's called Frank Starling curve. And here the relation between stroke volume, which is the amount of blood ejected if with every beat with every contraction and the preload you see at the beginning any minor increase in the preload here leads to significant increase in the stroke volume until we reach this point here and after that any increase in preload lead to minimal if any increase in stroke volume so sometimes they call this the insensitive portion of the curve and this is the sensitive portion of the curve so you would like the preload to remain in this area where it has a great impact on the stroke volume now with mechanical ventilation that means there is positive pressure ventilation so in our spontaneous breath normally what happen the intrathoracic pressure here in this area the whole thorax here will drop but with positive pressure ventilation mechanical ventilation there is a positive pressure ventilation being transmitted to the alveoli then to the pleural space then to the intrathoracic space in which the heart is located right so this positive pressure eventually will have a squeezing or compression force on the rv and that compression force in the rv will so it will compress rv this is the positive pressure ventilation it will compress rv this will lead to increase rv pressure this will decrease venous return and this will decrease of course because the venous return is what lead to the stretching of the ventricle this will lead to decrease preload and this will lead to decrease cardiac output so the effects of mechanical ventilation is decrease the preload on the right ventricle so decrease rv pre load how about the lv because rv and lv are in series what comes here to the rv goes to the lung and then comes back here and that's why they say the cardiac output here similar to this that will lead automatically to decrease sorry for this lv preload so it's easy to remember mechanical ventilation positive pressure ventilation lead to increase in intrathoracic pressure compress rv increase rv pressure decrease venous return decrease rv preload and by default automatically decrease lv preload